Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 451. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook 440 to 451. And this trick here, there's two questions, and both questions were, how do I do a lookup uh, based on a prefix? That was one question. So for example, we want the prefix only of that, so we have to somehow get the uh, values with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and ignore the rest of it. The second one was, how do I do, uh, the question was, what is the fastest way to do multiple lookups? For instance, what if I wanted to look up, look for boxes 15, over 15 pounds and white? In both of these cases, the best way is to do probably some sort of basic formula over here, and here just sort and then copy. I'm going to show you the, the easy methods, and then I'll show you a ridiculous formula. I'm not going to go through it, but I'll show you it at least. This prefix, uh, we had a, a little bit of trouble here. There was some extra spaces, and there were some periods. However, the prefix is always exactly one, two, three, four, five, six characters long. If that's the case, and there's no variation from that, then we have a relatively simple formula. If it wasn't, there was variable lengths, but the period was always the marking point, then we could use find function and find the period. But here, we just need to uh, extract the first six characters, equals left. And the text we want is this right here. And the number of characters from the left, six. Close parentheses and Control Enter. So I double click and send that down. You can see we get some extra spaces there. Oh, but wait a second. This one's not even pulling all the right characters. Four, one, five. So what do we do? We need to actually have something look at this and get rid of those leading spaces. The way you do it is I'm going to hit the F2 key to put that formula in edit mode. And then I'm going to use the trim function. The trim function is not for diets or haircuts. It's for getting rid of lead spaces. or. Technically, what it does, it removes all spaces except for single spaces between uh, words. So I'm going to put the trim and then Control Enter to repopulate those, and you can see we got it. Now, why is this big, ugly array formula over here, which I'm not going to go through. This is a way to do it with a formula. I have a great video link up here if you want to see how to do these formulas. And I actually have about 10 to 15 videos on how to do array formulas like this. But what's going on here? The reason uh, this is giving us trouble is uh, we're looking up here at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've typed in this extension as a number. But what about this? Anytime you do your uh, text extraction formulas, it dumps the thing in the cell as text. Text does not equal number. Even though we see the same number, text, this number, is not equal to, does not match that number as a number. So one way to quickly deal with this is just to do some operation on text, which then converts it to a number. Plus 0 is a nice, clean way to do it. Control Enter. And then I'm going to double click and send this down. All right. So now, once I have this formula, I would just um, you know, sort or something like that, bring them up to the top, and then uh, there it is. I'd copy these and bring them somewhere else, or some other filter or whatever you wanted to do. If you wanted to do a formula, there it is. Um, now, I have done so many of these formulas, and if you do this kind of stuff all the time and you want it dynamic, for example, if you change this to, uh, uh, you know, you're always changing things, so this one becomes this one down here. Notice how that record just automatically got dumped right there totally beautifully, so it's dynamic. Take the time to study this, because it's not easy. Uh, get the gist of it, and then boom, you can do it in all sorts of different applications. Now over here, what do we do? White and 6. All we got to do is sort. I'm going to sort on this column, right click sort in this version, otherwise use the A to Z button on uh, the toolbars in earlier versions. Z to A, I'm just going to do Z to A, and then right click sort here. I sorted the the numbers first brought the big, one, big ones up. Now I want to do uh, Z to A here and bring the whites up to the top. Now I can visually you know, go like that, copy and paste my data somewhere. You can see this formula, this dynamic formula, is extracting them. And if we change values here, it would work. And there it is. You can download this and uh, try it if you want. There's two criteria here. But um, again, Oftentimes, people think uh, with a lookup function, you can actually look up two values like this. Or uh, people think that you can return multiple items. And uh, 
almost always, at least all the times I can think of, you have to do these big ugly array formulas. <laughs> Otherwise, just do your sort and filter or uh, something like that because that really is a great way when you're returning multiple items like you are here. All right, we'll see you next trade.